A new multi-use project featuring 23 apartments and a coffee shop is the talk of Arroyo Grande. City's Planning Commission is set to decide the fate of the latest housing project this week, but it is met with some opposition. KSPY's Megan Healy is live in Arroyo Grande with a look at that project. Megan? Richard, I'm on the corner of Halcyon and Fair Oaks in Arroyo Grande where that proposed site is supposed to be built. Now, it includes an existing four residences like the building you see behind me on five existing lots for a total of 69,000 square feet. But many say this location is going to impact traffic and pose dangers for the kids at Harlow Elementary School just across the street. The increased traffic from a project like this is putting our kids at risk. With Harlow Elementary School across the street from the proposed project site, Erica Horn thinks more cars could be more dangerous. A lot of kids travel this, this um, area crossing the street in the morning and the afternoon, and um, it already is a very busy intersection. One studio, five two-bedroom units, and 17 three-bedroom units, plus 63 parking spaces and a coffee shop proposed for this location. Planning management Manager Matthew Downing says the city is in need of housing and has been trying to utilize this space since 2001. Good aspect of it being a largely residential project is that the traffic numbers are lower than they would be if it was a full commercial project. Another woman isn't a fan of the location. Apartments are needed but not in this area. Many users on next door say additional housing is needed. The project applicant hopes to make the apartments more affordable by design with smaller lots and detached walls to bring construction costs down. They will also pay an affordable housing in lieu fee. Money to the city that allows us to leverage different groups that uh, specialize in affordable housing, so Haslow, uh, People Self Help Housing, actually being able to help provide them funding to get affordable housing projects in our community. Downing says the proposed project also allows for future improvements at the intersection. Doesn't mean that it's not going to increase traffic at the intersection. It doesn't mean that um, you know, these units won't be using more water. You can accommodate for that and allow the city con to continue to grow to its maximum build out. Nearly 200 people have signed an online petition, but the Planning Commission will have the final say whether this project moves forward or not. If it is appealed, then it will be seen by City Council. But community members are encouraged to attend the Planning, Mission, Planning Commission meeting tomorrow night at City Hall. Live in Royal Grande, I'm Megan Healy, KSPY News. All right, Megan, thank you. No word yet, though, on how much the project will cost or what rent will be in those apartments.